Welcome to LUTV Newsbreak. I am Akira Mouton. I am Cameron Brigance. The Student Government Association election results have been finalized, and a new group of students are looking forward to being the voices on campus. LUTV News reporter Dominique Glay spoke with President-elect Tiffany Tran about her team's vision for the university. Many students were very excited about your food inclusivity uh, campaign point, and I know I certainly was. Uh, finding a place that's open 24-7. What are your plans on that? How do you want to make that happen? Right, so um, what we want to do is basically we understand that many of us um, are student workers, we have jobs, or we work on a different schedule where we like to eat later in the night. And we don't have those options on campus that are open at late night hours. So what we want to do is um, work with the C-Store located on campus for dorming students and try to get those hours extended all the way until the morning, until the dining hall opens at least, so that at least um, when you come to campus, there will be one food option available. Um, right now, currently after, um, I would say 11 p.m., the Papa John store that's located near the dorms closes. And at that point, students who are hungry are kind of left to fend for themselves. So what we want to do is make sure that we have at least one place on campus that's open at all hours of the day, just to ensure that we're properly feeding our students and making sure that students are also getting their money's worth because at the end of the day, we do pay for this um, service and I want to make sure that our money is um, well spent. Absolutely, 100% agree. Um, so you did mention extended hours and I know that was something also that you guys wanted to extend the hours of study spaces like the STEM. To view the full interview with SGA President Tiffany Tran, you can visit our social media outlets on Facebook and YouTube. Most people would not think of writing a book. However, a fifth grader from Port Natchez is doing just that with her guinea pig right by her side. LUTV News reporter Hannah Spikes had the opportunity to meet this young author and the famous Cuddles. That passed me, scare me, and I jump. One day, the big dog circled my cage. I thought I was Nine-year-old Grace Prio is proof that you were never too young to have dreams, and after a summer of hard work, she made her dreams a reality. Any really books inspired me in all different ways. My my lifelong dream was always to be an author at a very a young age. Before her writing process began, she had to work her way to cuddles. I did dusting, sweeping, um, watering plants. I wanted to take dogs for a walk, but most people weren't home, so. Publishing a book doesn't happen overnight, which is something Grace had to learn. But it was a very long process, because at first I'm like, okay, I'm gonna publish a book, it's gonna be done by like three weeks. Took two years, like, so mom! Like, ev like every little thing, it's like the illustration, oh, can you just add, her hair was just a little bit longer and she didn't have glasses. Although Grace had full control over the writing process, it was her mom and dad that gave her constant love and support to get the job done. It's always been interesting to watch her uh, come alive in a book. She loves to memorize it when she was little, then she would read it back, and uh, then to now, her always loving reading and writing in school. and. She just had a dream to write a book one day, and I thought we've always been proud of her, and we've we've always uh, been a big cheerleader for her. But for this to actually happen, you know, to get acceptance from the publishers, we were we were pretty stunned too. Hannah Spikes, LUTV News, Port Natchez. I just love that. It's so wonderful to see such creativity at such a young age. Speaking of creativity, the weather has been getting pretty creative with all this weather has been throwing us. Hopefully, LUTV Weather's Tommy Byers can tell us what to expect this week. Tommy? Welcome back to LUTV Weather. Weather forecasters are predicting an above normal hurricane season this year. The Colorado State University is calling for 17 named storms, eight hurricanes, and four major hurricanes. The seasonal average is 12 named storms, six hurricanes, and three major hurricanes. Current warm sea surface temperatures in the subtropic Atlantic is driving the above average probability. CSU has been releasing hurricanes forecast since 1984. This leaves many Southeast Texans wondering what is it going to be like here at home? Unfortunately, with the hotspots leading from, the, from Houston, Texas, 
all the way to the Florida Peninsula, that leaves Southeast Texas right here in the cone of uncertainty. Now that we have mapped out our hotspots, let's take a look at the 2021 hurricane names. These 21 names will be popping up on our screens, unfortunately, in the next couple of weeks. So look out for these hurricane names this hurricane season. So now that we have mapped out our hurricane names, let's look at our seven day forecast. With a 79% chance of rain, today we are looking at a real sinker of a Wednesday. With high percentages of rain on both Thursday and Friday, we will be floating into the weekend where we will see highs of 69 and a low of 52 on Saturday. And on Sunday, we will see partly cloudy skies, which will bring us into Monday and Tuesday, where we will have greater chances of sun with highs around 70 and lows around 52. This has been Tommy Byers for your seven day forecast. Back to you. Thank you for watching LUTV News Break. To see more content from LUTV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook. Be sure to join us next time for LUTV News, where your campus, community, and culture news come together.